Hello out there, Dave Levy here. I just wanted to show you what I've got going on for my home studio. This is for my lecture capture and um, and also for my um, communications. So if I teleconference in to work, since I'll be working from home, I, I did a little bit of work on the studio here. And I think um, for under, you know, I think it's like for like 110, 120 bucks, I've got this set up. And we've been collecting these pieces over the years. My wife and I, she teaches online to um, with VIP Kid. Um, she teaches English to kids in China. And so she already happened to have this headset. This is called an MPOW, M-P-O-W. Um, and I'll, I'll show you a link in just a second. We also have two lights on either side. They're floodlights. Um, obviously, I'm using a laptop. It's a, a Mac laptop that the college provided for me. But you could use whatever computer you have available. And I have a colorful light in the background and uh, I hung a whiteboard as well. So let's get started here. Uh, again, I've got a uh, laptop college issued. Um, nothing fancy there. Whatever you got would work. You could use the camera that's built into the laptop. Uh, in fact, that is what I'm using right now. I don't have a webcam up there. I tried the webcam and I kind of like the, um, it, it provided this, this particular laptop's webcam with these lights and everything. It looks fine just the way it is. So let's not overcomplicate things. Plus there's only so many USB ports on these uh, laptops these days. So um, we'll stick with that. Uh, then I've got this. It's a USB microphone uh, headset. So it goes in there. It's kind of nice because it's got a little uh, um, a little volume up, volume down, mute button there. And um, let me show you a link to that. I'm using Screencast-O-Matic, the software, to record this. I'll get into software later, but I just want to let you know that's what you're looking at. So let's find the MPOW. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. MPOW. So I just searched for MPOW on Amazon, and here we go. It's $27, and it's got a lot of good reviews. This is a great, I think it's a great microphone for the price. You know, there, I, I'm an AV tech, so I went through and uh, I created a Google document with like uh, lots and lots and lots of different microphones. And um, I'll share this this Google Doc actually in the links below. So you'll be able to look through um, and click through and see what fits your suits your needs. I mean, it's all different kinds of microphones for different needs. Um, with lecture capture, I like to have the mic uh, close to my mouth. If I move around, uh, then I'm not like turning away from the microphone. It's kind of nice. Um, and uh, so yeah, this this is what works for me. And at the bottom of the document, I've got my final consideration for free for twenty to fifty dollars, for fifty to seventy dollars, and and up. You know, uh, I also do music, so um, I have some microphones of my own that are clearly you know like high quality microphones, but uh, um, but that's not really appropriate for this use case. I don't think I don't think it would work work out as well as just having a nice headset microphone and getting the information to your students. Okay, so here is the uh, the fun part. This is the Olafus 2-pack. I have a, um, you'll see there's blue light behind me there. Um, it's a color changing light, so I can change from green to red to blue to whatever I want, um, white even. And that's just kind of fun, and I think it adds a splash of color to the room. Also, I have it for Halloween for my house, so that's how I got it. Originally, it's just a Halloween light, but it kind of works nice for a screencast as well. Um, and, uh, let's see the other thing. There's the MPOW and the studio lighting on the sides here. So there's two studio lights on either side. And before I get any emails, let me bring up this video here before I get any emails. It's not perfectly placed. You'll see there's a dark kind of row on my nose there. And what it should look like is more something like, like this. You see, it's more even kind of feel on my face, even lighting. Um, and the reason that there's this dark you know thing in the middle is because they're on either side of me and they're not pushed back further um, not pushed back further because I've got two gigantic speakers behind them um, and uh, once those speakers move to storage then I can move them back yeah, but for now this is good I mean if you take a look look at this is without the lights now we're talking kind of creepy right this is creepyville um, so and then, then this is with the lights back on let the thing adjust for a second there and boom now, ultimately, I'm going to do one last final um, trick up my sleeve, which is I'm going to hang a green screen here. And I think I'm just going to maybe staple, or not staple, like nail in a uh, 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 cloth on the wall there and just kind of drape it down across everything. Um, or I'll get fancy and hang a bar here and roll it up and down when I need it. Um, but uh, once with that green screen, then uh, inside of uh, Screencast-O-Matic, the software, 
you can click a magic wand and extract the background. So you've pretty much just got my floating head in front of the code that I'm teaching because I teach uh, computer coding for app for Swift for like iPhones and stuff like that. So again, I'm going to put a link to all these things that I've got in the video here in the com in the comments down below, and you'll be able to kind of check out my studio again like this. Uh, $50 for two of them. I only use one of them in the room here. Uh, let's see what the cost is. 30 bucks for that. That's a we're at 80 bucks plus another 53. All right, we're you know we're approaching 150 bucks after all, it's all said and done. But again, this is something we've been collecting over the years, and and uh, just use what you got. If you've got like um, if you've got like two shop lights in your in your garage, then take those shop lights and don't shine them at your face, but flip them out and shine them at a white wall, like or shine them at a um, something white. Now those get pretty hot, so don't put a white cloth over them or get the cloth close to them. We don't want a fire starting, but um, diffused light on either side is great, um, and uh, preferably a little bit of light behind you somewhere, just a lamp or whatever that works too. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions about the hardware that I've talked about here today, this is just the very basics of what you can use to get started in lecture capture and making your studio space look a little bit fancier than, you know, perhaps um, it might just with no gear at all. So send me a comment if you have any questions down below. And uh, otherwise, uh, tune in next time for my software stuff, where we'll talk about uh, Slack and WebEx and Screencast-O-Matic and... Um, maybe even canvas a little bit.